As per the previous reel, I want to teach you how the body works as a pulley system because it makes biomechanics so much easier to understand and every client is different. We cannot put them into these boxes and go copy and paste. In our brains, we have to have that critical thinking of what's happening to this client right now. I want to show you the hip legs parallel and I want you to think, why? Why do I do legs parallel to show this pulley system? In that reel, I said, if the front of your hips are tight, it's going to create resistance for the opposite muscles, which are your hip extensors. That means that when the client raises the legs up, they're not gonna get to that full range like we want them to because they've got a restriction in the front of the hip. So they're only gonna get to mid range, which means we never get those hip extensors into their most concentric form because of the restriction. So now you can go, oh damn, you have a restriction, or you can go, you have a restriction, let's use it. Because it's creating resistance for the hip extensors. So this is what you do. I've got her over the bosu in hip flexion because her body is gonna work easier from that position because they're tight. She's gonna press her pubic bone into the bosu, cementing the anchored point of the pelvis. She's then gonna keep that pubic bone in and raise the knees up. Now she's not gonna get to full hip extension, but she's gonna be working here in the range that it can handle, regardless of the tight hip flexors, using the pulley system. As simple as that. Pretend you don't see the straps, because we're absolutely perfect. <laughs>